speaking to France 24, the founder of Creative Syria claimed the West has decided to pick one side of the deadly conflict in Syria since March 2011, spreading a daily propaganda that has not helped to end the conflict. Mr. Atrakji, a specialist in the use of technology and social and behavioral change, added that as the Syrian population is split in two on where they stand on many political and social issues, the only solution to the conflict would be for the next general election to be monitored by the United Nations. He said, the problem in Syria is that you have half the people with the government, with reforming the current government because they realize it is full of corruption, and other issues. The other half, they want to overthrow the government for various reasons. France 24 Giddy Syria News, expert calls on Trump, May and Macron to stay out of Syrian conflict The West made choices and they started supporting one side beginning in March 2011 and they wouldn't move from that strategy. I've been proposing to my friends in the US to just keep an equal distance from both sides of Syria. This is the case where population, gray on one direction. Take Iran, for example. Half of Syria loves Iran the other half hates Iran maybe. Same thing with Russia and the United States. What do we do? Do we keep trying to empower one half of Syrians against the other half just because France, the UK and President Trump love them or it's their favorite side? Just decide, are you trying to help Syria or are you trying to help your own countries? Camille Alex Atrakji just decide, are you trying to help Syria or are you trying to help your own countries? This confusion and this daily propaganda from morning till night, for the past seven years, I don't understand why everyone is still interested in doing it. The only thing that works is a proposal whereby the end of the presidential term in 2021, to ask President Assad to run against anyone who wants to run against him and to have the elections being monitored by the United Nations, by the international community to make sure they are serious elections. If Assad wins, then he has 51% of the votes at least. If the opposition wins, they have 51% of the votes. Mr. Rotrakji's comments followed U.S. President Donald Trump's pledge to militarily attack the Assad regime after a suspected poisoning gas attack killed dozens of civilians in Doma last Saturday. Mr. Trump received the support of French President Emmanuel Macron and Prime Minister Theresa May for a joint intervention against Assad. Following a two-hour emergency cabinet meeting on Thursday, Downing Street said ministers had agreed it was highly likely Syrian President Bashar Assad was responsible for the attack on Saturday on the rebel-held town of Doma which reportedly left dozens dead. In a statement issued following the meeting, it said there had been agreement around the cabinet table that such actions should not go unchallenged and that the UK would continue to work with the US and France to coordinate an international response. Mrs. May and Mr. Trump spoke hours after this meeting and reiterated that the use of chemical weapons should not go unchallenged.